you know what? Whatever you expect, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Hi, Mari. Hi, Anderson. Thank Hi. you so hey. much for your time. A pleasure to meet you both and to talk about Monarch. So I'm going to start with you, Anderson. What was about Bill that got your attention to be part of this, this project? Well, the fact that they told me I'd be playing young John Goodman was very cool and very intimidating. But then they reassured me that I wouldn't have to be John Goodman. And I said, that's great because I can't. He's amazing, right? Uh, so then I just read the scripts and thought I could bring something to the table and that's what I did and it's it's been great. Yeah. Mari, what, uh, do you have anything that you can relate to your character in Miko? Um, I would say her curiosity. Yeah, it's definitely something that resonates with me. Mm -hmm. I always want to know everything about somebody, you know, that's sitting in front of me, um, anything about the world. I'm just curious to know new things all the time so I can relate to her in that way and also as a Japanese woman being an immigrant in America that's also something I can relate to so yeah that's that was something that I could build a foundation on for sure. Anderson how was like this dynamic on set with Mari to create you know the chemistry that you guys have on, on, on screen how is this dynamic with, with her? It was fun and honestly like it wasn't that much heavy lifting. It was all kind of on the page, in the words, um, you know, and then the directors would have suggestions that would help, but like, you know, I didn't feel like I anything was forced. Uh, and Mari's such a good scene partner that it's just, it's fun and she steps up and makes you want to be good and be better. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Amazing. And what, and, and Mari, what was about Godzilla? What was about monsters that the public love and everybody wants more and more <laughs> series <laughs> and films about it? What do you think? <laughs> I think it's different for everybody. And that's the beauty of it in a way. People can sort of see and take what they want from it. And, but I do think there's like different through lines of you know, the origin of Godzilla is very much based in um, what happened during the war and how people processed it, especially, you know, in Japan. So um, that's a timeless topic for sure, I think, and a timeless fear and, you know, n not to sort of ground it in negativity, but I think awe is a good word for it that you know, it's a, in its size and its capability, it's such an awe-inspiring character. So yeah, that allows us to ima imagine what could be possible in this world and what could exist in this world. So yeah. And, and Anderson, what we can expect of the remaining of the episodes of the series? The series. You, you know what? Whatever you expect, it's not going to happen. Everything that continues on from now on, like, the last four or five episodes, they twist and turn like you wouldn't believe. So expect the unexpected. That's amazing. I just want to thank you so much for your time. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato and, gozaimasu. Yeah, thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here. <laughs>